like this uh, uh, CPT trainer, whether it's the T34, the T6, the TH57, the SH60, they all start in CPT trainers. Just basic trainers where they get familiar with where all the uh, gauges are at and how their checklists work. And that's basically what they're being taught here is checklist. The newer ones are over here. They have motion on them you know, for instrument training, so it'll simulate that you're in the clouds and you can't really see outside the plane at all, so you're, you're completely focused on the instruments. And as you kind of see some of them, they can move around, they can, when you turn, they'll kind of mimic that turn, they'll kind of uh, mimic climbs and descents, and also once they get you that good training in the clouds before you actually go in the plane and do your instrument training. We've got four motion, all motion simulators. All right, the uh, simulators are set up beforehand with a, a, basically like a, a program that they're going to run, whether it's going to be approaches at Mobile or Tallahassee, wherever they want to go, then the students will come in, they'll get strapped in, they'll put their helmets on, they got their knee boards, and they pretend they're out flying in uh, the aircraft. With, uh, with the helicopter simulators, there's more things you can do. I mean, it's not, you have the visual, you can actually, there's a night vision simulator as well, where uh, You'll be wearing your night vision goggles. The simulator will be adjusted for those night conditions, and you'll treat it like a normal night vision goggle flight, whether it be just night flying, day flying, flying in different types of weather, uh, and that kind of thing. Flying with a partner, they can practice with you going through different approaches and different, different instrument conditions. It's very, uh, very frustrating when you're learning how to fly a helicopter just with a hovering, uh, using multiple, multiple controls at one time. And it, it just doesn't seem like it's not something you can just be taught how to do. It's something you kind of have to apply, like riding your bike, where some of those things that you have to just learn how to do on your own through a little bit of practice. So it's uh, very frustrating at first, but then within about a week or so, very rewarding in that you uh, you improve very quickly and you don't even really notice, you know why. I mean, it's not like it's not like you were told something different, it's just the more practice time you get at it, the easier it comes.